Hey everyone, Ron from Vertex here. With me is Dave, who's our product manager. Vertex has always been really well known for having some of the fastest bags for off-body carry. Dave, can you tell us a little bit about our sling bags? Yeah, so we're gonna walk through three of our bags today. We have the EDC Transit, we have the Commuter, and we have the Commuter XL here. Pretty much all three of the bags have very similar features and setups, just different sizes based upon the weapon system someone might be carrying. I'll start with the one I'm wearing. So first, we have a uh, three-point harness, which really helps you know, secure that if you're having to either wear the pack all day long or run with the bag. If I need to spin the bag around, I can detach that here. We do have a side release buckle here for a quick release so I can quickly hit to uh, get out of the bag if I need to. But we have our rapid access pull tab right here for a quick entry or access to it. And this will open right up and I can now get into whatever I might have via Tatagami to pull from. So new features for this year, we actually have added a removable tab here. Uh, it used to be that if you wanted to open this up all the way, it could just you know, fall open all the way. And you know what, man, if I'm running, I don't want whatever is in this compartment to be hitting against my thighs. So now this tab will help hold that pack up and in place, right? Another feature we've added is the single point uh, sling attachment, right? So I can run my sling to here. So if I come out with whatever weapon system I want to run, I can let it you know, hang back down. And it's going to stay attached to this, right? Or make it easier to reholster. All of our weapons compartments now come with lockable zippers. And we've also increased the depth of these weapons compartments as well. So if you're running a, a larger weapon system, those will now fit inside of here without it being so tight. Before, sometimes the bag would bulge out. They really overloaded it. A lot more room, and it's a floating panel in essence where people can't really tell from the outside how big that compartment is. If we go to the next level out, this is my admin compartment. Now you notice we've kept that light tan interior on all these. Uh, new for this year, we've gone to US uh, made Velcro. Uh, so that way all of your uh, Tactigami places that where they attach it has a much higher shear strength to help hold those in place. Inside of here I have a zipper pocket, there's a keychain fob where I can attach my keys to that, and then basically all the admin I want to have for places for pins, cords, uh, highlighters, you know, chem lights, whatever I want to have attached inside of here is a place for that. Then we have my uh, main uh, retention strap where if I want to put a laptop or a tablet in place I have that option as well, right? One more compartment out here. We have our, uh, basically our dump pouch. This is where I can uh, you know, shove in whatever I need to. Maybe it's an extra jacket or if I want to put a helmet in here, I have that option. That material does blast out because of the extra room. However, if I need more space, this will open up all the way and the G-hooks will come out. And these can attach up here and on the bottom. And now I've got a little more room to hold in whatever I need to, right? If I need to go over um, for an operation, this whole panel tears down. I'm going to shove this back up inside. And now we have access to our web platform, our Rose of Molly. If I want to Velcro anything on here, maybe an identifier, I have that option as well. Also, this makes a great compartment to maybe put travel documents in when I'm traveling abroad that I don't want to have discovered or, you know, or, or potentially lose or have you know, uh, stolen from my bag. Okay. Now on these bags, we also have grab handles here and here. It makes it real easy to quickly grab this one. Uh, on the body side, we've gone to a new molded back face much higher abrasion resistance on these. If I want to, I can still run my luggage handle through this at, when I'm at the airport. And then if I um, need to use this as my ballistic shield, we have that option as well because all of our partners are making uh, ballistic panels, both soft and hard plates that will fit into these. They give me some extra protection either when I'm running uh, down you know, a hallway, I've got something I can kind of hide behind, give me some A-zone protection, or if I need to parry because of a knife attack or a different technique, I have that option as well, right? If I don't want to have this strap out, this can tuck away and hide it back inside of there. Okay. So this is the commuter. The transit is very similar in how it's configured, just a slightly smaller space, but overall exactly the same features, just kind of reduced down in size, um, minus the admin compartment. Then the, the commuter XL, the largest bag in the line, we have our grab handle from top. Still have the grab handle here. The rapid pull um, access tab opens this up all the way. And that is a lockable zipper. You notice know, so we still have that um, tab here so this doesn't dump out all the way with our single point sling attachment point. US made Velcro on this one as well. This makes a great panel for adding a ballistic panel to because of how, how large this is, right? If you look at this, this is almost like a ballistic shield that can come down, right? 